was like me namang zo tshiku khot au ye now you've probably heard or seen something from this duo we're gonna break down how it all started with two people and how it eventually became a nation let's go Everything starts with you guys. Before the photography, before the streetwear, events, music, you guys met. So 2015, Mumtana was pumile se schooling. Young as a motherfucker. I am 18. I'm fresh out of high school. In fact, I was still writing my finals when this guy asked me to with as a shoot. At the end of the shoot, we decided to have young. Abo, Miss Bambi McDonald's. Miss Bambi McDonald's. Manje mina ngla na veli abo. So the way I'm paying a call na kona manje, maybe not the way the way, but like he was just staring and I was busy talking. God, he's got a love interest. Abo, mara towards the end of the year, which was kind November, uh, he pops the question. Okay. And I was just like, ah, oh, let's get it, bro. Photographers, man. Don't <laughs> think, if you're gonna do this, Don't do this the right us. way. <laughs> Don't use your models as more. You know. If you're gonna do it, it has to end up like this. But anyway, photography, dog. That's where it all starts. Explain that. How do you get into photography, and does it build up to? I was introduced by a friend of mine who came to Lena from high school. Nike assista. Yeah. So in that said, I managed to go cool out on the model, get it direct. Then after that shoot, my friend was like, "Yo, Antoine." Meluisa, Melendale. Fast forward, maybe like two weeks later, a friend of mine bought a camera, like a Spanish camera. That's when I started shooting the book holes. Okay, when I was like, "Nessa Julie Lens," it's one of those like basic, 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 basic. basic, yeah. basic. But zoom in, zoom out. Yes. Exactly. But then I think yeah. then outside of just being his muse, I was also his assistant. So when I'm standing there with the reflector, I'm looking at not my own angle. I'm like, Damn, fana, I can't shoot it. Yeah. Then I'm like, I'm going to go to the house. Then I'm going to go to the house. I think now I'm going to go to the house. As long as it isn't those corn, how do you make sense of them? Because eventually, what we end up seeing is photography being integrated to clothes. <laughs> Why did you do that? Photographers frame their work. What gave you the idea to say, this is where my photos belong? Because we are from another brand. Mm -hmm. We had to have a difference from what we were doing previously on the other like brand we had. Honey, it's like an annual exhibition in Mutjarating when we decided to do it. Can I nail 20 man? 2017. Because Kelati like day before my birthday, Kali 22 to September. Kafuna Langi Hoto, a hot on feet, so I'm thinking of Arizzi. Like my birthday celebration because I have many prints there at home. So through that process at the first year, Nerebo Norba to Nebasa Paidi Nepetarona because like we are mainly focusing on selling our images. So it was like, how can we sell our art. It was easily very retransferable to to Mbasa because people love Mbasa and so on. Kuraneba sheba di nepetaro na neba nsu ya ori like they even asking by engage with the work and stuff. So it was better to put it on T-shirt and it was easier to sell it that way. That's how that's how the the photography becomes fashion. The cell screen machine to the photos to everything. So today I brought in my tangri over here yes. in yeah, shop. Since I'm not into it. So, sizoi mashkara na yabo. We love this clean canvases. Yeah. Every time we also see our own clean clothes, we just like, damn, that deserves a spruce up. Nale kabelo ba sotu. Both our fathers kiba sotu. Nice. And this friend of ours posed as the symbol of our fathers. So Ndadewaka is my father in oh. sotu. This is something that we have not released. Oh, so this is uh, some unreleased, unreleased. Unreleased, unreleased. <laughs> some official, unofficial collab going on. Nah, look. 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 
กวีแยนลงยาอีคุมอีคุมอีคุมอีคุมวันนี้ชีนักเล็บโอ้ really 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 rare shit ฮัมบุปะ coming from ฮัมบุปะกินิ่ง never ever ever taking anything for granted นักเล็บกินตัวนะ I used to be a DJ and so on but เราบางส่วนเราฟีดังเอาไว้ but it came back again เลยอะ funny enough นักเล็บกินจะ pop up อี it was the first time I did a set like official you know Oh yeah, Shafujo and Henry, 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 Henry. So, how are you doing today? Because you're doing the eighteen hundred side. Yeah. So, as you can see, this space is also like a gallery, right? Um, so, on the twenty eighth of August in twenty twenty two, we hosted a pop up here where we were unveiling the clothing that you see us wear. We were in the middle of the day, Bongo Kosa. So we went to Bongo's place. Like it was a Friday, they had a track that they already had that they were working on. Hmm. So, Machita na record a pina. I want to tell you record a pina. Let me hear Malo, Malo me of fresh, fresh things. Tara ya mamole is fresh. Peggy style as I'm in doing ya machem. Mangi na mina velik velik kali shata. Number one so we grafa I will capture original stories. Mang pay two kids. Magu pongo you can't just be lufa rinche. Exing. Ah, you know the pet. So he says, dude, I know you've never written anything. Today is your day. Then I wrote a song about his smile. My favorite thing about Cabello is his smile. So I <laughs> wrote a like What else, baby? Back inside. Little young girl, don't you cry. So my name is Valele. Valele, my type beat. My name is type beat. It sounds like something I can jump on with songs that I know. I start with Erika Padu songs. I record myself, and then I post it like on Instagram, abo. And I'm like, eh, hey, says, wait, we are stuck inside, right? So might as well just call these the stuck inside jam sessions. And where I started jamming, Antante, was we're rewinding it back to this place here uh, in Native Rebels. There was a jam session that used to happen like Kali Wednesday. And when I came to the jazz, I was like, I'm TDP or Mang Mang. I was like, I'm not going to be a jazz. So Mara, you know, we used to finesse them and whatnot. That's where I was like, ah, stuck inside. I'm able to be free. I'm able to be myself. Yeah. I can cover the way I want to cover, whatever I want to cover, and it was really fun. So music, you know, has has always been like a part of us and uh, unintentional. A lot of people know you because of events, mm -hmm. but the music, when I go in, your last big event. Uncle Tom's, mm -hmm. and I saw you guys performing together. Oh yeah. Nobody knew your songs mm. except for the people I was sitting around, <laughs> about my dog and whatnot, and mm. they were singing it. But I'm like, "Nimo ta vela va the music because it's unreleased." Yeah, sure. You can send the police call, baby. My son. Question is, when are you releasing your music? So we want to create our own streaming platform where you can stream our music. And you are genuinely and actually supporting us directly. Basically, we're trying to package everything. We're totally like music, the part, or our images uh, in just one place. In the central spot. Yeah. Basically, but there's one place where I felt like you created a platform to combine all these elements: the music, the fashion, and the visual. That's your event. Yes. Yeah. Your last big event at Uncle Tom's. How did that start? What was the main reference of source? And how did that build up to Lea event Lea? Because that was an amazing event. Yeah. So we only had one of our three nights happen. In that first night, uh, COVID protocol was observed. Everybody was uh, tested and whatnot. So many people came out positive. Even some of our DJs that were supposed to be playing that <laughs> night. The following day. Yeah. Even the following day, but like even on that night, right? So it then happened to Guti. That was like damn, Sapai Sega. So we had to take a step back. So when it came to her Uncle Tom's, her Uncle Tom's, it was such a beautiful culmination because then what happens is that it's an enclosed space 
it's a community hall, but unlike any other. You know, mm -hmm. when you get to a community hall, Mongia and Apu, Segui Hall. La Paya, you know, there was pockets of spaces where you could experience things before you actually get to the main event. And the beautiful thing about it is that it was, or is, a venue that is right behind the Hector Peter Sill, which is a space that is about the history of the youth of Soweto. Then Tina, we are doing this thing, showing the youth of Soweto today, how we are living today, how we are surviving or thriving, in fact, because uh, contrary to common belief, Soweto is not that great of a place. Uh, you're not supposed to be, you know, flourishing, but here we are. We are both so it was such a beautiful uh, weekend, like of 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 experiencing with them. Like there's so much hope still, like from where we come from. Yeah. Uh, is protocol here yeah, because I came in and I had to show my my COVID test. The last time I did that was at the airport, traveling international. You guys followed protocol, um, international protocol. What are the benefits from you being event organizers did you get from following such protocol? We didn't want to be the reason why people are sick or whatever and so on. So, because this was also like a global event. So it was a thing of like, we had to do things properly, especially for safety and security about so and so on. It was very important for us to make sure that people were safe because what happens is that it was only maybe like way after that people remember Otherwise, the experience that you have when you're out there, when you're inside, after Uptesta, Ukoshen Ogot, so Testile, it's things to see, great music, great vibes, you know, Usatima, so Koshi, The event space is amazing because I me, mean, I come as a fan, to be honest. I came to your event and I was like, yo, I remember doing something like this. Not as good as this, though. Because I felt like you guys hit a level that I and my crew and the people I was working with hoped to hit, but never reached. And that's why when I saw it, I was like, I get it. I totally get it. And I love it. And it inspires me. I never thought like, when we did it at home, there in our studio, like interaction, it was so amazing. And when we got this opportunity to make it bigger, it was like, all this time, it's more about experience without the name, or Kilabona, like, because uh, Khaler shoot at the event before, so it was also a thing of like, how can we make an event as a Chablis, like, team, or Kilabona, like, because. We've always seen ups and downs, like good events. I got into a show, I got into a show. So. I fell out too late. I went to a second good house. Fray Pan Loya on Genevale. So we are going to go over a game match. It's not inclusive. Um, now I love the perfect that people that are getting booked and whatnot are winning. You know, everybody is, is getting booked frequently and they are winning. But especially where we come from, there's so many like uh, 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 talented people that never get those kind of platforms. So that weekend, we made sure with the people that we know, we put them on. We are both as book in Japan because six well crew. City, we deserve this opportunity. And then we give it to you, Baba. Our vision is to make art accessible, ne? especially in spaces where it's not accessible. My sense that it popped up not so long ago. Um, somebody asked me briefly, would you like? I said, I said, what's this? I was like, bruh, every time I see your body art or like sophisticated art, not not a takes. How's about we bring that here and we actually get people from around here to also open up their minds to see Uguti, it's possible to live your dream, you know? Yeah. Um, and it doesn't necessarily need to be some fancy something, whatnot, but that you are fulfilled in what you do and that what you can, what you do is able to impact coming generations. So this is why we do what we do. Now, I'm art and sports and culture. Dope. I think now I would like to be the mayor of just be your damn self. <laughs> yeah.
Ebati combo correct uyazi. Uyazi. Ebati combo correct uyazi. Uyazi of combo correct. Of course. Of yebo. Kabu yebo. Esoweto. 